I had this crazy idea I wanted to try, so I went back and I cut in, you know, the eight inch long, uh, half an inch pipe pieces that we made for the supports. I went and made another one and I attached this one onto the back of the boat, as you can see. I did that and then I added these Velcro pieces in here. So the way this works now is I can take a bow here, I can take four arrows, So as you can see, I can put four arrows onto the bow. The arrows come just a little bit before the end of the bow here. You can see that. And I can still draw and shoot the bow as normal. And there's no difference. <laughs> There's just something I thought up and I figured I'd give it a shot. So I'm going to go shoot this for you guys and then I'm going to finish this. And basically I'm just going to be painting this. So let's go shoot it real quick. Okay, here's the bow. So I'm just going to shoot it out for you guys real quick. Now because it's actually center shot, You're going to need to use a release of some sort, unless you put a bar into the handle here to hold the arrow. Otherwise, when you use fingers, the twist that you impart on the arrow will cause it to go off to the right. So I'm going to be using the a release for now. There it is. So now I'm going to go finish this up. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a latex base paint or a latex paint. I'm just going to paint the entire bow just like I did the Hunger Games bow. I'm just going to paint this all down since it's kind of a prototype. And the next time I do something like this, I'm probably going to paint all the pieces first and then put the wrappings on. So here it is. So I'm going to go paint it, we'll see how that looks like. Alright, here's the bow finished up. I just went ahead and painted the whole thing. As you can see, I've gone ahead and I've changed my Velcro to square Velcro. They used to be oval. Uh, I find the square helps a little bit. And really the Velcro is there to put pressure on the arrows to hold them in. Because, I don't know if you can tell, but when you draw the bow, it actually causes this section to flex just a little bit and if these arrows aren't under a little bit of pressure they aren't being flexed just a little bit they would just fall right out so that's what the velcro is there for 
Uh, it also helps keep, in, keep me from scratching the bow up. And then I've also got a little bit of Velcro here on the rest. And I found that if I modify my shooting style a little bit, I can pull this off without needing a release or without having my arrows go over. So here it is. Not bad for a first attempt. I uh, weighed this and it's 30 pounds. Actually it's 32 pounds, but I'm just going to call it 30 pounds at 26 inches. I think it's because of this handle assembly, but once you get past 26 inches it just stacks so much that it's not comfortable to shoot, it's not good for the bow, and it doesn't benefit you as far as speed. So I'm going to say that this bow is for a 26 inch draw, and it's pulling 30 pounds at 26 inches. So the next step would be to make a slightly longer bow, maybe with a different size of pipe, and see what I can get out of that. But here it is. So I'd like to say thanks for watching, and next thing we're going to do is shoot this thing out. So here we go.